In this video, we'll show you three attacks against Bitcoin wallets, all related to the big spender vulnerability, which allows attackers to double spend and more. In short, double spending means an attacker is able to spend the same digital coin in more than one transaction. The first attack will show you a simple double spend and zero consummations. The second attack will show you how this can be amplified in order to do a multiple spend. The third attack is a denial of service against the wallet's users and shows how this can be used to prevent them to spend a certain amount of their balance. These set of attacks have been found to be applicable to multiple wallets, but here we're going to focus on Ledger Live. And lastly, we'll show you a Zengo solution to this problem. The first kind of attack is the standard double spend at zero consummations. We'll be using Bitcoin's native feature, replace by C. So first, the attacker gets the address from the victim. Then, the attacker with the command line interface would send a transaction of a low fee, which signals that it can later be replaced by subsequent transaction of a higher fee, spending the same coin. At the victim's wallet, we can see that the balance is increased and the transaction is shown. We can also view it on the block explorer, and at this point, everything is actually okay. Then, the attacker sends a subsequent transaction of a higher fee, spending the same coin back to himself, yet, at the victim's wallet, we can see that the balance and the transaction still remain the same. If we click on it, we can actually see that the block explorer is saying that the transaction is no longer found, or in another, it will be explicitly displayed that the transaction has been double spent. The second type is the amplification attack. Here, the attacker can repeat the previous process multiple times, only needing one single coin. The attacker does that by sending the victim a chain of replacing transactions, each replacing the previous one by paying a higher fee and spending the same output. This will cause the victim's wallet to show an amplified fake balance where the attacker actually only sent a fraction of this amount. As more and more transactions are getting accepted by the victim's wallet, the balance keeps increasing. The third type is denial of service. And this one actually does not require any interaction with the user other than knowing his address. So now, when the victim comes to spend his entire balance, then this balance actually includes some fake balance due to the previous double spends. So when the user comes to do so, he will necessarily fail. So what is Zengo's solution to this problem? So first, the attacker will try to do the same thing as before, first sending a transaction of a low fee to the user. At the wallet, the balance will purposely not increase until the transaction is confirmed. The user can go to the activity screen and then clearly see that the transaction is pending. When the double spend transaction is received, then it will simply be marked as failed.